This is Dave Whelan with the Cambridge Spy in cooperation with WHCP Radio with another special program on election 2020. Tonight we are talking with Jameson Harrington who is running for the Ward 3 seat and that election is December 1st. Jameson, thanks for joining us. I, I guess the real question for all the candidates is what, what makes you get up in the middle of night and decide you're gonna run for office? And, and what is the motivation behind this particular spot and this particular race? Well, first off, thanks for having me on. Uh, so I, I've lived in Cambridge about six and a half years and just recently bought my first home here in Ward 3 on Peach Blossom. Um, as long as I've been here, I've watched Cambridge grow and develop, uh, but we're still held back. Uh, and I'd like to help help us grow and, and take advantage of all the great potential we have here in Cambridge. Uh, I've always been a giver and something about this just stuck with me. So I, I wanted to do it. Tell me a little bit about your background. I'm originally from Talbot County. I hope no one holds that against me. Uh, but I, I went to school in Salisbury, Salisbury University, where I study geographic information systems, um, which is computer mapping. Um, and then I did some work with urban planning there as well. You know, the other thing that we wanted to talk about is um, Ward 3. And you are representing a geographic space, uh, yes. in Cambridge. <laughs> and uh, every ward that I know of has their own unique problems and challenges. Uh, what, what is your uh, take on where things stand there now? And what, what do you want to work on if you're elected to, in the future? Uh, well, one of the biggest issues we face, uh, not just in Ward 3, but in, in a lot of Cambridge is housing. Um, we have a lot of vacant homes or homes that are really not adequate to, to raise a family in. Um, and that's something I'd really like to address uh, as my, in my time as commissioner. Um, the other things I'd like to address are uh, Pine Street. It has a rich history. Um, and I think that's something that we need to embrace and make it feel like more of the community um, and make it feel more like it's part of downtown. I, there's also other issues outside of Ward 3 that while not particularly benefiting uh, Ward 3 off the bat, they benefit Cambridge as a whole. Um, and if we grow as a city, it's gonna benefit every ward. Um, things like the Sailwinds Waterfront, um, um, Making sure, well, it, War Three is uh, also has downtown, so that's something I want to take care of as well. We've got the main street there, um, with a lot of vacant storefronts, and that's something we should be looking at, finding ways to encourage local businesses to open up. Are there particular uh, roadblocks to that? I mean, I know that blight is a particularly challenging issue in Cambridge. I mean, is there, are there things that pop out to you as either low hanging fruit or slow, close to low hanging fruit? So, uh, keeping our streets clean um, is one of the low hanging fruits. I mean, you, uh, I did a street cleanup in the Pine Street area a few weeks ago and it made such a difference and, and people notice those things. Uh, if you've got a clean street, you're gonna work harder to keep your, your area clean, you know? Um, and that, that's something that's low cost and easier to address. Um, but then going back to the housing, we've got all these vacant houses. Um, and I keep saying they're, they're a liability, but they're also an asset. We can, we can work to restore some of them um, and address some of our housing issues. Um, and then the ones that can't be restored, we can make room for, for new options, new, new stores, new houses, multi-use um, development. Uh, 2020 was a major year for the Black Lives Matter movement, and this was particularly true in, in Cambridge, you know, and I'm asking each candidate, what is the, the, your thoughts about going forward from this point? How do we keep this idea of racial justice alive in a city like Cambridge? First off, I think we need less division. Um, we need to focus on unity. We're all in this together. I mean, if, if part of Cambridge is left behind, then we're all left behind, really. Um, I, I love the mural that they put down on uh, Ray Street. I thought that was fantastic. Um, not that it particularly solves anything, but it sends a message um, that we care, we're here to listen. Um, 
and I, I want to do what I can to to bring that unity here to Cambridge. The other thing that people want to talk about is the waterfront, and everybody has probably uh, their own idea of what would be best for the uh, city. Do you have a certain uh, bias or uh, interest in what happens there and what what you'll be looking for as these things go through the review process? I think the uh, that whole Sailwinds area, it serves as kind of like a gateway to Cambridge. It's the first thing you see when you come over that bridge. So it needs to be something that entices people into Cambridge. Uh, but on the other side of that, I don't want it to detract from you know downtown, that downtown area. It needs to be something that they check out the Sailwinds area and they just want to continue to check out Cambridge. Um, it needs to provide revenue. It needs to provide jobs. Um, there, there are, are ideas out there. Um, I'm, not, I'm not open to the retirement or the elder care facility. Um, we could use that here in Cambridge, but I don't think that's the location for it. But I, you know, tourist activities, things like that, businesses, I think are a good use for that area. Helpful. Are there any other things that you kind of make as part of your platform as, as you look at Ward 3 and what your responsibilities might be going forward? Well, a big part of my platform is just listening to what the community wants and needs because um, we're the ones that live here. So uh, I think it's important that the community has as much say as possible. Um, but that said, I mean, there's there's common issues like taking care of our youth. Um, the Bradford House is, has been an issue. And then um, Pine Street, as I address, there's a lot of little things in our community that, that need attention. Um, but at the same time, I've got to work with all the other commissioners to make sure we're building up Cambridge as a whole, um, building our tax base, bringing new jobs. I mean, there's a new business and it's going to open up in Ward 2. I'm all for that because just because you live in Ward 3 doesn't mean you can't work in Ward 2, you know, um, things like that. It's, it's all about, once again, unity and cooperation.